Oh, okay. What's well, good, YouTube? It's your boy, Uber uh, Sports TV. Right. I Back at y'all with another one. I got my man Maurice Lee here and my man Darren. What's good with y'all, man? BDB. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Coach, right now, I just got done getting some great work uh, with Keith Hunter. Mm -hmm. uh, getting ready for uh, July 9th. Mm -hmm. Now, you've been out the ring for quite some time, man. Yes, sir. Uh, uh, your, your career got kind of sore, right? Yeah. Uh, when you was with over at Mayweather Gym, a lot of high hopes for you know Maurice Lee and the future, and we hit a little snag. You just get a uh, test of that. Yeah, you know, um, some, something happened with uh, my license. You know, some malpractice through a doctor, and uh, you know they took my license from me. I got it back now. All glory to the Lord Jesus Christ. But uh, and then I fell into a depression, and then uh, ended up getting assaulted. Got stabbed 14 times. So, you know, uh, been out the ring for uh, three years, you know, but but don't kill you, make you strong, and, you know, trials and tribulations uh, make champions. So I'm going to show that, you know, going through the fire, you're going to come out, you know, like a diamond. So. Right. Man, getting stabbed 14 times, man. Could you attest to what happened with that at all? Is it possible? Oh, yeah, it was just random, you know, out there in L.A., uh, some random dudes, uh, just, you know, a gang that don't like blacks, you know, um, you know, caught me slipping. You know, I was at my brother's building, and uh, it was just random. You know, they was on drugs or whatever, and uh, you know, just try to murder me. But you know, all glory to the Lord. You know, I was able to fight them off, and uh, you know, I'm still here today. Fourteen times, man. That's that's a lot, man. How was the recovery for that? Uh, it's been a long road. You know, it's been a long road. Uh, you know, a lot of mental, a lot of mental things. You know, a lot of. Uh, you know, different nerve pain, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, through the grace, you know, I'm able to fight, you know, I was in camp with Pacquiao after, sparring with Sean Porter, mm -hmm. uh, Ugas, mm -hmm. you know, so, you know, but it was a lot of things here mentally, you know, uh, through my psychosis, depression, you know, the whole world see me uh, lose my mind on Instagram, you know, and uh, right. ain't no shame in it, you know, what don't make you, uh, what don't break you only make you, you know. Well, every, everybody have, everybody goes through something, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, Nobody's exactly. perfect and, you know, everybody has some sort of mental health issues, you know what I mean? It's just, whether it's on a, you know, people see it on a large scale, you just happen to be somebody that's on a large scale, so it just gets magnified, you know? Yeah, nah, 100%, you know, I want to give a shout out to my dad, you know, I wouldn't be here, I want to give a shout out to my coach, who, you know, stayed by me through all of it, mm -hmm. and, uh, you know, never left my side, and uh, kept believing in me, and, um, uh, July 9th, they're going to see something, you know, they're going to see me looking smarter and sharper, you know, Coach BDB, uh, Daryl made a lot of adjustments, got me using my, you know, ability, you know, and uh, came too many people uh, outboxed me. And, and, and I saw you sparring today, and you look sharp in there, and I oh, saw yeah. you on the pads. Yeah. You look sharp on the yes, pads. Sir. You already look like you're in shape, you know. Now, yeah. obviously, what I view as a, from this standpoint to you, how, how you feel in shape. You look so sharp in there, man. How you feel? I feel calm, you know. I feel, uh, you know, everything in life happened for a reason. The Lord let me go through all the fire and everything I went through from being shot seven times at 11 to stabbed 14 times at 28 to foster care group homes. You know, my life been like a, a movie, you know, hard. But, you know, it's all for a testimony, you know, to show young brothers coming up and people in hard times that, you know, you can overcome things and achieve things in life. Hey, so, you that, know, that, that you was shot seven times when you was 11 years old? Yeah. Man, what happened with that? And that, that just means, first and foremost, I got to say, you're here for a reason. Yeah. For a reason. You get no, shot seven you, times yeah, and yeah. then stabbed 14 times. You're here for a reason. But what happened with that? Oh, uh, no, nah, me and my older brother, uh, you know, I'm from Sacramento, California, and uh, it's not really too much light on it, but that's a real Sacramento, a real uh, bad <laughs> oh, neighborhood. I know about it. has some real bad neighborhoods, so... Yeah. You know, we was just walking out late at night and we got caught in the middle of a, a shootout. And you know, a 12 gauge, the bullet uh, exploded. We got hit with the buck shots. I got hit seven times, my brother got hit 15 times. I had to carry him home, you know, at 11 years old. So, wow. you know, my whole life been uh, just fight. You know, my dad was in the feds, mama, you know, on drugs, you know, doing uh, things that, you know, she had to do to feed us, you know. So, you know, I grew up real hard, you know, foster group homes. You know, I tell dudes like this, oh, they say, uh, oh, I had an amateur pedigree. I started boxing at age six years old. I'm like, nigga, at age six years old, I was trying to figure out how to eat. Right. You know, so I didn't, I started in the game real late due to my hard life, but I was always fighting. Right. So, you know, I just, uh, I love to fight. And, um, you know, I, I got a real uh, passion for the sport. And, I, I, you know, my coach told me I got a special gift for the sport. You know, and he, I mean, I, he the, trained the, a lot the of talent, The talent is 
speaks for itself. You know what oh, I mean? yeah, no, nah, I believe it. And I, you know, I'm staying humble now, staying grounded. You know, uh, shout out to Earl Spence, nothing but love. You know, uh, yeah. shout out to Floyd Mayweather. I love you. And uh, my, my uh, Dewan Blake, the whole Mayweather staff, the whole team. Love all y'all. And um, shout out to uh, Arrest Agency, who's giving me my fight July 9th. So uh, you can follow me on Instagram, Maurice Victorious Lee. Follow Coach. Well, let him know what your Instagram is, Coach. Big Boxing, BDB. Yes, we sir. Coming, we coming to uh, claim the 147 pound division. Yes, sir. All right, a lot of y'all seen our road, so we letting y'all know we coming. Now, 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 you yes, said sir. Errol Spence. What, what, what's your relationship with, with Errol Spence? What happened with Errol Spence? Well, you know, you know, when I was going through all, all my things, you know, I was going at it with him on Instagram, you know, trying to. Trying to get a tuna fight for him, but like he said, he a champion. He don't need no tuna fight. He proved that. You know, I was just hungry to get an opportunity. But you know, you got to pay your dues in the game. You know, so uh, we starting off July 9th and we gonna build up. So you know, sometime late late next year, looking to get a top 10, mm -hmm. somebody in the top 10. Now, now there's another guy at 147 that's making a lot of noise, Jerome Boutinis. Oh yeah, special what, talent. What you think about him? Special talent, a uh, good fighter, but uh, I got the same shit he got. Mm -hmm. You know. So, and, uh, but a special talent, hell of a fighter. And, uh, you know, I, one day, you know, I would love to get that fight once well, I get on that level. As a coach, what you see in his skill set from the outside looking in? He looks sharp. To uh, Maurice blessed with some very uh, athletic ability, very fast, got good power, able to think in the ring. And my job is to bring the best of Maurice out each time we perform, whether it's sparring or whether it's uh, an actual fight. And uh, we look forward to proving uh, that the hard work that we're doing is going to pay off. And uh, the people that's out there that see Maurice go through his struggles, listen, I've been diagnosed with mental illness too, so, you know, we're a team, so I understand, you know, his, his flight, and I'm here to, uh, you know, uh, help him through his journey. And, um, you know, we all go through things, but, you know, God is with us. And uh, we, we want to uh, show the world that no matter what you go through, uh, you can always bounce back and uh, go get my book, Break Down the Boxing. Oh, just get ready to get that. It explains mental illness in boxing and, and how that's been evolved over the years. And we'll check that out. I mean, people always say, to get in the ring, you gotta have something wrong with you anyway. Yeah, that, look, Ain't that what they say? It's in the book too. So and, everything we do, I broke it down in boxing. It is in my book, Break Down the Boxing. But listen, any any human being that's willing to get into a square ring and slug it out with another man, yeah, something has to be a little, a little bit right. wrong with them. Especially, as you can see, they take pictures afterwards, they're friends, right. and they set up a date and time to do it again. Right. So something a little wrong with that, but that's a sport that we love and we enjoy. And how is your relationship now with Floyd? Uh, and you know, when was going through you know, everything? When I was going through my, you know, psychosis, you know, uh, you know, I did some things I regret. You know, I was going crazy on everybody. Even my coach would tell you, you know, he had to check me a few times, you know, uh, a lot of pain and, uh, you know, suffering I was going through. You know, I was, uh, my license was taken from me wrongfully. I went into a depression, ended up in mental homes, ended up getting stabbed 14 times, ended up, you know, getting told I wouldn't box again. So, you know, I was, you know, going through a lot of different trials and tribulations. But, you know, as far as Floyd Mayweather, you know, I, I love you. And, uh, you know, that's my idol. That's been my idol since a little boy. And uh, that's TBE. Mm -hmm. Now, what can people expect in your next fight? You know, they can expect uh, what Joe Goosen, you know, said, you know, I'm one of the best to ever walk in his gym. You know, uh, like uh, he referred me to as Michael Nunn. So, you know, um, I believe I'm one of the best Southpaws in the game. And uh, I believe right now I'm one of the best welterweights in the game. And I believe, you know, once I get active and get busy, keep listening to my coach, I will be the best welterweight in the game. Speaking of being a Southpaw, there's a, a fight everybody's looking to see is Errol Spence, Terrence Crawford. Terrence oh, yeah. Crawford predominantly fights Southpaw now, Earl Spence and Southpaw. What do you think about that fight in your division? Yeah, that's a great fight. Um, that could go either way. It's all about who execute their game plan. Uh, obviously, uh, Terrence Crawford got more uh, agility on his feet. He uses his legs right. But Earl, a dog, you know, he know how to dig them body shots. You see how he broke down Uga. So, you know, it's, it's a 50 50 fight. What do you think about that fight, coach? I, I agree. I think uh, Crawford is the more uh, athletic fighter. Earl Spence is the more 
dog sense type of fighter, the way he comes forward and likes to go to the body. Styles make fights, but my concept is this. I love both fighters, but to me, in any boxing match, best feet wins. Whoever got the best footwork, to me, has the advantage. So with that logic, I would say Crawford by him. I appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all. So just let them know one more time where they can find y'all. Follow me on Instagram, Maurice Victorious Lee. Facebook, Maurice Lee. Big D Boxing on Instagram. My YouTube channel is Big D's Boxing. Go get my book, Breakdown of Boxing. BDB. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And when is the fight? July 9th. Yes, sir. Where at? Uh, Kansas. Wichita, Kansas. On what network? I'm going to get all that info, and uh, I'll, get, I'll get with you so you can uh, post up the stream. I know it's going to be stream. It's my get-back fight. Okay. You know, but we ain't sleeping on nothing. We working. All right. Say less. Appreciate y'all. Yes, Thank sir. You.